Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be sending uh, pop-up notifications uh, from your shell, which you can use in the shell script. And I'm just going to give a basic overview because there are some uh, differences uh, with this depending on how you use it. Uh, so we're going to be looking at a program called Notify Send. And Notify Send is an application that sends uh, pop-up messages to your desktop, but actually sends it to a server uh, application that you have running. Uh, which I'll talk about more in a moment, but let's just have a quick look at it. Uh, on many distros, this is already set up with a uh, daemon running in the background for your notifications, and Send and Notify actually works with a lot of them. It's pretty standardized. Uh, so I can go like this, and I can say, Hello, world. And when I hit Enter, it's going to pop up a message that looks like that. And it just stays there. I can send another one, Hello, world, again, and it puts another one there. And uh, that's the title. So when you pass it something, the first argument here, the first string you pass it is going to be the title. So I can call, I can say here, I can say title. And if you pass it a second string, denoting them uh, with quotations here and a space, and I can say message. And you can see it gives me a title and a message. And I can click on that to get rid of it. Um, Obviously, we can type more than that. I can type my message. This is, oops, this is my message. There you go. Now, uh, before we go any further, I'll talk a little bit more. So there's, this is an application that communicates with your notification name and server application that's running in the background, um, or I should say service application. And, um, the one I'm using is called Dunst. Uh, Dunst as in like Kirsten Dunst, you know, from the Spider-Man movies. Um, there's a good chance that if you're running Ubuntu or something else, you have another application. But Send Notify will interact with uh, whatever that whatever notification system you're using. There's a few of them, and it, Send Notify should communicate with them in fairly the same way. Now, the look and feel of your message depends on the service that you're running for your notifications and your steps. So uh, Dunst by default is, is fairly ugly, uh, and I made a few modifications. I'm not going to get into the server end of it. Basically, uh, it was a basically like HTML that I decide how this looks. It's just a configuration file. I'm not getting into the server side of it. We're only talking about notify send. Now, you notice that timed out after a while. I can tell it with the dash T option when to time out. And so if I say 3000, so send uh, notify send dash T for timeout. 3,000 would be three seconds. And then I do that, and there's my message, and after three seconds, boom, it disappears. I can do one second. I can do one thousandth of a second, which we don't even see. <laughs> there we go, we can do a half a second, would be 500. So if you want the message to stay up just for a few seconds or a short amount of time, uh, you can set the time out there. Uh, another option you have is to give it an icon. Uh, for example, I can set this, I'll set this for five seconds, and I can do dash dash icon uh, equals, and I can give it an icon, in this case I'll say phone, and you can see it puts a little icon of a phone there. Uh, and after five seconds, it disappears. Oh, I should also mention that if you send the same notification, at least with Dunst, how you set up so I can do this. If I keep sending it, it tells you how many times that same message was sent. But if I give it a different message, it will um, give me a new line there. So that one has an extra space there, so it looks the same, but it's actually different. And uh, with Dunst, again, I'm not getting into the uh, service side of it, but I have it set up that I can hit Control Shift uh, and Spacebar to clear them all out. Or, let's go to my screen here. If I say, let's say I say a message and I say, Films by Chris as the title, and then I can say HTTP colon forward slash forward slash films by Chris dot com. Dunst now sees that there's a URL in there, and it doesn't have to just be the URL. It can be a message, my website. Now I can actually hit Control Shift period, and that's how I have it set up. You can change the the, the keys for you, but it now brings up this little bar here with the URL and I can hit enter and it'll actually open up the URL that's in that message and if there's more than one it will do that and I have it set that I can go control shift spacebar and it clears out all the messages so if I was to have multiple messages up there uh, I can hit control shift space and it clears them all out for me so I don't have to click on each one um, 
And uh, so, but we were talking about icons here. So here's a phone icon. Um, let's go here and look at a few different icons. So here's audio headphones. So you can see there's a little picture of audio headphones there. And instead of just phone, I can do smartphone. And it gives a little smartphone icon there. So where are these icons coming from? Uh, well, it depends on the uh, application or the um, themes that you have installed on your machine. So if I was to find in my USR folder, uh, I'll just look for phone because I know that. And I'm going to look for, I'm going to go for icon and uh, I'll just do that. You can see that I have USR share uh, icons, breeze, device. So all the themes I have installed on my system are going to have the icons under USR shared icons, at least on a Debian based system. Uh, and you can see the names here. If I just give it the name of one of these, so here's for example, um, I can do audio input microphone should work. Let's hope it does. So, boop. And you can see it gives a little microphone there. And so I can give these, so I can actually go here and I can go back to my find here. And what I can do is I can say, look in my USR share icons folder and that'll just list everything. I guess I'll just say name and I'll say all the SVG files. Oh, yeah, spell icons, right? There we go. So now I have all these so I can look through these and I should be able to grab any one of these. And uh, although it's not my system's looking at a specific folder here that I have set up as a theme, but you can give it a full URL. So if you have an SVG you want, um, you can use it. So just for example, let's say I had this SVG and I packaged it with my script. I should be able to give the full URL path here to the SVG file. Boom. And there is an icon, a very small printer uh, error symbol. Uh, so different icons are different sizes. Some will show up better than others. Here's a media shuffle playlist symbolic, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's go ahead and just copy that full URL and here, and I will paste that in here. Boom. And again, it's a little shuffle icon. Uh, it's very small right there, but again, it all depends on the uh, icons you're using. Let me go back here and go through some uh, previous ones that I was working on. So here's some headphones, but if I go back a little bit further, smartphone phone, here's some audio headphones. So this headphones is a lot bigger than those. I think these ones look better, but these ones are more visible because uh, they're, they're larger. All depends on your theme. So let's real quick look at the man file for uh, notify send by dash send. And uh, so you can see there's a few options in here. You can set an urgency level. You can also set a category type, I guess, whether it's an error message, information message. I haven't really messed with that much myself. Um, mainly I, we've looked at uh, dash T for time. I for icon, or I did dash dash icon equals. You could do either. And then, of course, there's a little help hint here that probably give you more information on things like the category and urgency. But I just want to give a quick overview of notify send. And hopefully I've said that right, correct every time, because sometimes I'll say send notify when I'm talking about it. But it's notify send. And again, it works with different services. Uh, and the one I'm running is called Dunst, uh, which is a very lightweight one. I like it a lot. Uh, if you have another one running on your system, you got to kill it first or uninstall it and then install Dunst. I'm not going to go into the server side too much here. I, you know, I talked about it a little bit just to explain things. But I just wanted to show you how to send a message with a title, a message, how to time it out, and add an icon. Because uh, with all these tutorials that I've been working on uh, the last couple of weeks, I'm going to start showing you scripts I've created using these techniques. So I just wanted to be able to give you an overview of that. So I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. Uh, so if I was to go here and then do this, ta -da, my website here, you can search through uh, all my videos uh, quickly and easily from uh, both my channels. And uh, also a few other things, you can go to the support section if you would like to support me. You can do so with PayPal or Patreon. Patreon supporters, $2 and above, get downloadable uh, all my videos. And uh, I appreciate your support. 
Uh, and the more support I get, the more videos I can make. So I hope that you enjoy it. I hope you visit my website, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I hope that you have a great day.